What's going on everybody? Coming back at you with another weekend of diving. And we're gonna head over to the Bahamas. We're actually going over in that thing. It is a 39 foot contender, so pretty stoked on the, uh, the uh, cruising speed that we're gonna be heading over there in. But we're gonna get over there probably on a bank and maybe shoot some, uh, shoot some snapper, shoot some hogfish, shoot some grouper. Um, and hopefully just you know load up on some fish and have a good day on the water and we'll uh we'll see you guys tomorrow all right we're the morning of and here with spency oh man let me get a feature dog there's the feature there's the feature in <laughs> Freak yeah there's something wrong with that guy i don't know freaking feature bro it's a freaking feature got scotty boy we got the family uh running out on this trip so some mahi in the water, gonna get in there and shoot some, uh, shoot him with the pole spear. Woo! So we already caught one of the mahi-mahi on our fishing rod and went ahead and left it swimming in the water so that the other mahi didn't get spooked and run away. So Scotty and I both took an approach on the mahi swimming around the piece of bamboo. Scotty took a surface approach and I came from under and Scotty ended up landing the shot. We ended up with two mahi-mahi in the box, which was a great start on the trip. Yeah, that's fine. After checking in, we quickly rushed to the reef and started spearing for the day. One thing that I really wanted to do on this trip was to shoot a nice sized mangrove snapper in order to scale him, gut him, and cook him whole whenever I return home. I ended up being so lucky and on our first drop, on our first spot, I saw a big mangrove snapper and I landed a shot on him. From this point on, we started crushing the hogfish, mackerel, and grouper. You got me, hog? Where at? with that thing this next spot was where a big black grouper rocked up and I went down with my nomad pole spear and plugged him 
Scott was right behind me and we got his viewpoint from his GoPro. Nice, man. This next spot, when we jumped in, a big black grouper went and rocked up in this hole that I'm diving on. I looked inside, couldn't find him, but when I pulled my head up, I had another surprise right in front of my face. As you can see when I shot that hogfish, the big black grouper took off on the other side of the rock and was never to be seen again. That was a big enough hogfish to be my one for the day and since we have to abide by state regulations when we come back to the states, we are only allowed one hogfish per person so we have to choose wisely. At the next spot, Spencer shot a nice zero mackerel. Don't get a second shot, we want to put another one in him. I couldn't really see where Spencer hit him, but there was a shark in the water, so I asked him if he wanted me to put another shot in this ear, which I'm glad we did because his shot was not a great holding shot, and it's better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> Big ass hero. Go on. Careful, grab him by the tail, grab him by the tail. On the same spot I swam over and Spencer shot his hogfish for the day. Then my sister decided to hop in on the action and shoot the biggest hog of the trip. On our way home, we decided to stop off at the deeper part of the reef, which was about 65 feet. We saw a yellowfin grouper sitting on the bottom, and Spencer made a drop. This was the weirdest thing because Spencer shot the fish from a distance, and once he hit it, it rolled over like he just hit the spine and it was totally dead. The fish sprung back to life and took off into a hole. 
All right, let's, uh, he's in this hole. That's so strange. I did a little breathe up and went down to finish the fish. Did the same thing with me. Once I shot it, it didn't move as if I hit it in the spine, and then it suddenly came back to life. But in the end, we got the fish in the box. We are now done for the day and heading back to the dock. Thing work like a dream? Alright you guys, thanks a lot for joining me on this trip. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, go ahead and give it that like button. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe, leave a comment and I will see you guys on the next adventure. See you later.